Hello and welcome to Talk the Walk. Today we are walking from Yavaland to Whitecliffe Bay, across Benbridge and Culver Downs. Our walk begins at Yavaland and we head towards St John the Baptist Church before we begin the climb up Benbridge and Culver Downs. We stop at the Earl of Yarborough Monument, then continue to Benbridge Fort and Culver Battery before the descent to Whitecliffe Bay where our walk concludes. Yavaland is one of the Isle of Wight's best beaches, providing a long stretch of sand and is popular for water sports such as surfing and provides great swimming waters for children and families. There is a beach shop and cafe with public toilets with power provided from solar panels and a wind turbine. Here is St John the Baptist Church, which is medieval, Grade 1 listed and dates from the 12th century. Trees were seen on this site some 6,000 years ago, before they were cleared to make room for grazing animals. Plants and animals that lived here in the grassland have spread over a wider area as a result, and this traditional grazing of the downs continues today. Charles Pelham became first Earl of Yarborough in 1837. He inherited Appledurkham, which became his second home. He decided to give the house a new entrance and formed a large library where works of art were displayed. The Earl was held in great affection by islanders. He died in 1846 and subsequently this monument was formed in 1849, which was originally located half a mile west, but was moved in the 1860s when the old site was taken by Bembridge Fort. Benbridge Fort cost nearly £49,000 and was built between 1862 and 1867. It was used during the First and Second World Wars when it was occupied by the Army, Navy and RAF. Following the wars, the fort was abandoned and became heavily vandalised. The National Trust took over its care in 1967. Culver Down is made up of chalk and is rich in fossils. It's where Benbridge Down runs into the sea at the eastern end of the island and the layers of rock are a mirror to those on the other side of the island at Freshwater. The ridges provide important nesting sites for seabirds. Culver Battery was one of several Palmerston forts built on the island following concerns about the size and strength of the French Navy in the late 19th century. It was operational during the First and Second World Wars and closed in 1956.
Whitecliff Bay is sheltered by prevailing wind, by the cliffs of Culver Down, and as such the beach offers safe bathing. There are rock pools to explore and beautiful sand for making sandcastles. It is a perfect spot to relax and look out across the English Channel and watch the shipping vessels go by. That concludes our walk for today. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.